This week we're going to give winter backpacking another try. And unlike my last winter backpacking trip, I plan to do everything in my power not to freeze. Welcome back to another story from the trail. We are deep into shoulder season, or as some people call it, winter. But it's dry, and the lows are in the 20s, which is totally manageable. So I'm hiking up to do a single night in Pikes Peak country, hoping to get some sunrise, Milky Way, sunset shots, and uh, we'll see how it goes. Winter on the Front Range of Colorado can be fierce, but on this weekend in mid-December, the temperatures were actually forecast to be tolerable. It's always a treat when these brief weather windows line up with the weekend, so I decided to head out for a solo overnight. While I had a few goals for photos on this trip, my main goal was just to stay warm and hope the wind didn't pick up and make my night miserable like last time. started off with a two-mile slog up the trail above the highway. Looking back down into town through the pass gave me lots of great views. It made the climbing worthwhile. Once I got above the ridge though, the trail timed out a bit and the views of Pikes Peak really started to show themselves. Well, I've got the hardest part done and uh, this view, it's got to be one of the best views of Pikes Peak here. Pikes Peak just looks massive from up here. I didn't have much time to enjoy the view though. I had a few more miles to hike before I could set up camp, and the days are short this time of year, so I had to hurry before it got dark. And just as the sun dipped behind Pike's Peak, I reached my destination. This is the view I came for. All right. So I found this nice flat area. I'm exactly where I want to be. I'm just going to be shooting from the trail, just 100 feet that way. But I found this nice uh, protected area. It's got some pine trees around it, um, which should shelter me from any wind that comes and maybe uh, block some frost. So. I think this is a pretty good spot. I'm gonna be sleeping on some snow, but that's perfectly okay. So I got my tent all set up, all my stuff blown up, sleeping bags open. All settled in. It's not even dark yet. I'm gonna hang out here for a bit. Just let the sun set. I think I'm gonna focus on Milky Way at first and then sunrise in the morning and just soak it in. It's so quiet out here. So it's peaceful out here. So the reason I decided to camp here is that this view of Pikes Peak, it's one of the closest spots you can be and have a clear view of Pikes Peak, otherwise you're just looking up the mountain. And with it being December, 
A lot of people think the Milky Way kind of goes away after summer, but it hangs around in the western sky right after sunset. So I won't be up late tonight, but right after the sun sets, the Milky Way is going to be right behind Pike's Peak. It won't be the brightest part of the Milky Way, but it's still there. So after the sunset, I headed out to get my shot of the Milky Way behind Pike's Peak. But the Milky Way wasn't quite where I wanted it to be. I had miscalculated the angle I'd be looking towards Pike's Peak, and it ended up being a little bit to the north. Even so, I was fairly happy with how this shot turned out, and I headed back to Camp Content. Well. Uh, the Milky Way wasn't exactly where I wanted it to be. Um, so I kind of had to run around and try to find some sort of shot. And I don't know, I, I think I got a decent photo. Uh, but ultimately it was a month too late. So next year, I gotta remember, October or November is the time to get this shot. So. It's super cold this morning. It was like 20 degrees and I checked my thermometer. So, heading out for sunrise. And maybe 15 minutes before sunrise. I spent some time just soaking in the nature, watching the sunlight drift over the mountains, enjoying the chickadees as they went out in search of their breakfast. Those things are hilarious. But eventually it was time to pack up and hit the trail again. I had a fun route plan that connected some of my favorite trails, and I was excited to try it out for the first time.
Ultimately, this was a really fun trip. I'd be lying if I said that being solo wasn't ever scary when backpacking, but the weather held up, and it just felt good to get a trip in during the off-season. I was also able to plan for a cool Milky Way shot next fall. Thanks for joining me on this week's trip. I hope you enjoyed getting a little escape with me. Make sure you hit the subscribe button on your way out, and if you hit that little bell icon next to it, it'll give you a notification when I post a new video. Until next week, stay well and get outside a little bit.